All right, thank you. And uh, boy, talk about a scary ride for a pilot in Dallas. The pilot was forced to land the plane in a heavily populated area in North Dallas. And Hannah Davis is there live with how this all played out. Good morning, Carol. Well, this is a crazy story. People have been driving by checking this out because you certainly do not see this every day. Take a look right here. This is a small plane that landed in this parking lot right here. And as you can see, when you look at the area, there's really not a lot of room for air, a hotel back there and also apartments and houses. So yeah, it's a good thing that this plane stopped where it was. And thankfully, the pilot on board was not hurt. But again, that does not mean that this whole situation was not terrifying. This all happened just around 1130 and FAA officials say as the plane was coming down, it actually clipped a tree, hit a pole and then spun around. The FAA says one pilot was on the plane, nobody else and reported losing gas, made the decision to bring the plane down and we're only two miles from the Addison Municipal Airport, but the plane could not make it. I want you to take a look at just how bad this could have been, guys. Here's a map of where we're at, and you can see the whole area is surrounded by houses and neighborhoods. Luckily, the pilot was able to avoid all of those, keeping people in the area safe. And this morning, again, the plane is still out here. We've got crime scene tape set up so nobody can get back there. And police cars are actually protecting this area until FAA investigators here to find out exactly what happened. Back to you guys in the studio.